Hello and welcome back to Craven Outdoors. Today I'm out here on Dean's Lake today and I got my brother-in-law Josh with me and my niece, uh, Caitlin. Well, hello there, neighbor. I'm brother Josh and this is Craven Outdoors. So why don't you sit down in that chair right there and enjoy today's episode because you're about to see something that even I have never seen until we went fishing on this trip. Josh finally caught one. <laughs> we got one. We got one. Oh, that's a deep hook there. That is a deep hook. There you go, JP. Yeah. That's a start, folks. The yep. first one of many. Yep. You know, I'm catching this fish. There you go. Nice fish, yep. JP. Yep. Holding close to the camera, he looks like a 10 pounder. There you go, folks. Look Man, at that. look at that big look one. At that. Look at that. Look how big <laughs> he's getting bigger on <laughs> <by> the second. <laughs> Job. Well, I've had two hits on this lure and I couldn't figure out why I ain't getting them. Probably because it doesn't have a hook on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it takes a hook. Yeah. <laughs> so, tip of the day always use a lure with a hook on it. That might help you. So, well, I'm glad I noticed this. I guess I need to pay more attention. What'd you get him on, Josh? Oh, I got him off. <laughs> it happens. Hey there, folks. This is my homemade, uh, made by hand out of balsa wood. I whittled this with a pocket knife, painted it. It's pretty ugly. Not the best looking thing in the world, but it has good action. I've caught fish on it in Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Florida. And I'm going to try to catch my first fish on it here at Dean Lake. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we got him. Here we go. Here we go, looky here. We got the fish on, on the homemade lure. But folks, I wanna tell you something about this fish. When this fish went after this lure, he thought it was something pretty good. But once he got the hook, he found out it wasn't so fun. You know, it's kinda of like sin in our life. Sometimes it can look good. Sometimes it can look ugly and just be a reactionary action to a bad circumstance. But either way, when that treble hook of sin gets hooked in our mouth, it ends up not being a good thing. But God gave us an answer for that, and his name is Jesus. And if you'll just ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life, and you'll commit to live for him and trust him and follow him, he'll remove that treble hook of sin out of your mouth, out of your life, and he'll set you free. In the book of John, it says, who the Son sets free is free indeed. Hey, if you'd like to say that prayer... Say, hey, you know what? I'm being bound by sin right now, but I want to be free. I'm tired. It's just wearing me out. I've been trying to get free, and I can't. Well, today's your day to do that. So I'm going to say a quick little prayer, and you say it with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, and I receive him now. I ask you to forgive me of my sin, fill me with your Holy Spirit, and help me to live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now, right now, you said that prayer with all your heart and you meant it. Guess what? Your sins are forgiven, and God has set you free. But the key is, don't get caught back on that treble hook of sin. Keep chasing him, keep serving him, and you'll find out it's a blessed life. Hey, this is Brother Josh, and I call you blessed in Jesus' name. I'm boasting on my... Let me see it. I didn't realize you were right there, JP. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video out here on Deems Lake tonight. I had a good time with uh, Brother Josh and Caitlin there. It was a struggle tonight. It really was. I never even got a fish. 
Uh, we're not seeing many fish moving around on the lake. The, nothing on the depth finder. I'm not for sure what's going on over here. This is probably one of the slowest nights I've ever had over here in a long, long, long time. But I mean, that happens. Oh, it was still a good night. Had a good time out here relaxing. Had a good time, you know, fellowshipping with everybody and Amen. got to enjoy nature and everything. So call you blessed in Jesus' name. We'll see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you then.